So it's that season again. Everyone's going to the store and they're buying chickens and they don't really know what they're gonna buy. So in this video, I'm gonna be providing you with three separate breeds of chickens that you should definitely consider buying for this upcoming egg laying season. You can get all these chickens right now for a decent price and we might even go as much as five minutes in depth with each of these three breeds of chickens. So grab a bowl of popcorn and a nice drink and let's begin. For all the upcoming sessions, we will be covering a multitude of different things for each of these breeds to help you get a better understanding of each of these. I'll use the simplest terms possible for all y'all out there. We'll cover things like eggs, cost, recommended tips and tricks, food consumption, their intelligence, for obvious reasons, and my favorite memories with the chickens for the added bit of relatability. Anyways, let's hop into it. So we begin our long journey about Buff Orpingtons with eggs. On average you'll see about 220 to 260 eggs per year. Despite Google telling you about 180 eggs a year, I'd say it's a slight bit higher than that, if not way higher than that, and they're usually a very prolific layer. And they can sometimes overtake this, the next breed of chicken we're going to be talking about. They lay about every day except for months like December through February because you know it's really cold. Our buff Orpingtons like Loudmouth, Q, and Rogue are beginning to look like they're going to begin laying eggs soon. Although they are turning four, so I'd expect a bit less from them during the course of the next year or so. And as for when they begin laying, about 18 to 24 weeks old, which is about average for most chickens. And as for the reliability score, that'll be a final of 18 out of 20, or a 90%. Good going, buff Orpingtons. So far, at least. Now in terms of cost, on average they cost about, I'd say, three to six dollars. If you find a ridiculously insane breeder, then maybe eight or nine dollars, but for the most part they're somewhere between two and six dollars. They're mostly available during the months of January through April, or late July through mid-August, but I will warn you, especially in late July through mid-August, they sell out really quickly. So they finish out with a final cost score of 20 out of 20. Now, be sure to treat them with respect for everyone's sake, but this should go without saying, but the reason why I'm even bringing this up is because if you do treat them with the respect that they deserve, well, you get a really great outcome with it. They're becoming the friendliest chickens you could possibly get. And you want to keep a really close eye on them because they are very adventurous, and with adventure time with chickens comes moron time. And when those moron times comes up, oh, those moron times will come up and the Buff Orpingtons will turn into the world's largest moron that you've ever seen and they'll get attacked by predators. Fun fact, we had 15 Buff Orpingtons that we bought for the farm flock and of those 15, zero of them remain because they're morons. Try to keep the hen to rooster ratio about 15 hens to one rooster. I don't know, this one's like okay. I, I'm kind of on the line between 10 and one and 15 and one. And try to keep the yard as safe as possible for so that way they don't go to moron time. But other than that, their maintenance score is fairly low at 17 out of 20. Now, do Buff Orpingtons have good intellect, or is it about as high as mine when I'm taking a math test? Well, let's check it out. So, they are very intelligent chickens, for the most part. They'll know who is you, they'll know what is dangerous, they don't trust anything they don't trust but other than that they can't sleep up and as i said before with moron time moron time comes out of nowhere and you don't have any time to react for the final score being 16 out of 20 or 80 percent fairly decent i'd say Now these chickens, because they're very friendly and very tame, they are great chickens for making memories. So let me briefly talk about Lovey. She was one of my greatest chickens ever with a ton of lore behind her name. She would oftentimes go up to me, beg for treats, and of course because she's Lovey, I'd give her the treats that she needs. Other than that though, I would say Buff Orpingtons are definitely a great opportunity for making memories. So go get yourself some Buff Orpingtons, and because of how great they are for memories, their final memory score will be a 21 out of 20. And as for their final score total, Let's get into that right now. So with everything collectively added up, the total comes out to 92 out of 100 or an A-, minus. which by looking at this graph right here tells you that they are very easy to care for chickens and are very, very, very easy in beginner's level. Anyways, let's move on to the next one, which we'll reveal in just one second. The 
the Bard Rock or Bard Plymouth Rock chickens are chickens with black and white feathers that'll definitely be really friendly, and they're personally one of my favorite chicken breeds, so let's review them really quickly. We're gonna go over those five things again, so hang on, let me go check my notes really, really quickly. Alright, let's- Now as for eggs, they usually lay about 230 to 300 eggs per year, on average, and they usually lay all months, besides January usually, sometimes December and February, but for the most part they're one of the first chickens to get right back on track after that. They begin laying at about 20 weeks old, and they're usually the first ones to begin laying. Their all in all reliability scores not 20 out of 20 liquid the buffs, but rather 19 and a half out of 20 due to certain complications with egg dis disorders like we had with one of our bard rocks in the past flock. Now, barred rocks are usually about four to seven dollars, which makes them pretty affordable. And they're usually available from January through May, which is a bit better than Buff Warpingtons, and late July through early September. Now, the reason they're only 19.5 out of 20 again is because their price is slightly higher. But okay, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's just a half point penalty. No one cares to be honest. Now as for tips and tricks, this one will go without saying. You need to keep them in the yard because just like Buff Orpingtons, more on time comes. And don't worry, more on time will come for the next chicken breed as well. So if you thought these are the only two, nope. And also you need to monitor them for stupid behavior. I put another word in these notes that I'm not going to say for obvious reasons. But um, you want to monitor them for being the biggest morons because they will always be fighting for that top spot because they are just competitive like that so your maintenance score for them will be about an 18 out of 20 which is way better than the buff warpingtons because they do not get lost nearly as often and as for the intellect they are known to be a moron but they can also be really smart but because of their inconsistencies, they're going to be scoring a C on their report card for intellect with a 15 out of 20, or 75%. Not the end of the world, but it could be if the next score is even lower. Now, bard rocks can have the potential in them, so let me talk about Mrs. Peepers in very, very simple terms. Well, Mrs. Peepers, for starters, decided to begin not really begin, but she was sort of involved with a fight between BCT and Chicken Burger, who would later go down the line form the Burger Twins, who will be discussed on the next. But, of course, the fight ended up getting heated, and unfortunately BCT slammed into Mrs. Peepers, which sent her right to the emergency room. Afterwards, she would end up barely surviving, and not really, she survived just fine, with a broken leg. Afterwards, she would have like a little bit of a spur, but then would have the greatest comeback story in recorded history and lead the pet flock for multiple years. So hey, as I said in the last video, if you want a politician, man, for 2024, like Mrs. Peepers as president, let's see what would happen if that would be the case. Well, here is the final score, and it's 92 out of 100 yet again. Anyways, I am going to go record the final one before I upload this video, so you are almost to the end, my, view my fellow viewer. Ah yes, the Easter Egg, are one of the most versatile chicken breeds on Earth with the biggest potential energy in any chicken ever seen. They lay so many different color eggs. Let's get into them right now. Now we begin off by talking about eggs, which are usually about 190 to 220 eggs per year, which might be a bit on the lower side, and they usually lay all months except for October through January. Now supply and demand, which kind of might lower the score a bit, and they begin laying anywhere from 18 to 35 weeks old, and because of that's very unpredictable, I lowered the score a lot. But then I realized, they lay so many different eggs, so why can't I give them a little bit of a boost? Before my final score is going to be 13 out of 20, because of their versatility and it's kind of worth it, 17 out of 20 or 85%, not saving them from the 65 or the D.
Now talking about the cost of things can sometimes be a real pain, but they're usually about 6 to 12 dollars. Now keep in mind these aren't the true Americanas, they go for way more than that. They can go for as much as 169 dollars, which was the highest one I found. But there's probably much higher ones, I wouldn't be that surprised if you could find one for like 300 dollars. Because they're so rare, and they're available year round. So you could still get them likely off season for most places. They're the most in stock actually when we went to go get our golden buffs batch back in August, I mean late July of this year. Their cost scores can be 20 out of 20. Despite them being on the higher end, they are available a lot more often, which kind of makes it worth it. And the price is also worth it, of course it is. Now I hear you asking, are these literally just the same as the last two? Yeah, moron time again, what did you expect? They are morons. Moron time will continue with just about any other breed of chicken, but these three are very prominent. Their maintenance score is going to be a total of 16 out of 20 because of the similar reasons listed above. That might also come to harm the next one, you never know. Ah, so we come to find ourselves about intellect with these chickens. They are very simple chickens, and they just do what they have to do on a daily basis, and for the most part, they're very smart. But then they can be the biggest imbeciles you've ever seen. So for all those reasons and multiple others, such as but not limited to them being a moron, their intellect score is going to be a total of 17 out of 20. Now, we're going to be talking about memories. Now, I have a really good one I'm going to talk to you about. The formation of the Burger Twins. I gave them the nickname Burger Twins sometime back in maybe early 2022. But to be honest, they were very similar. Burnt Chicken Tender and Chicken Burger were the leaders of that, of those Burger Twins. And because they were the leaders of those Burger Twins, they knew what they were doing. And of course, they would have the funniest things to do. Like pestering us to give us treats, making the loudest sounds possible, and just giving a lot of fun to us. The Burger Twins would be the most, would be the greatest twins in that flock. There is obviously some more, like Summer and What the Cluck, which only one of those remains, but unfortunately for the Burger Twins, they met a very, very harrowing fate back in the year 2023. On April 7th, whatever day Easter 2023 was, that was when chicken burger unfortunately decided she didn't want to be in the game anymore and then bct decided on july 20th that she also didn't want to be in the game anymore what is it with these chickens quitting all of a sudden rest in peace to all those that have been lost and as for today's video the last chicken of the entire list the easter eggers ended up finishing with a final score of 91% or an A minus. Congratulations to every single chicken that made it onto this video because these are my personal favorites. I reviewed them not based on, but without a bias obviously. I had to do a lot of research to make this video so this is your daily reminder to click the like and subscribe button because more video essays like these come out every single Saturday and you don't want to miss any of them. Be sure to click the playlist on the screen which shows even more of these if you really are hooked with these types of videos. Anyways guys I am out of here. Subscribe